Today in our 2017 Ford F-250 Super Duty, we're going to take a look at and also show you how to install the WeatherTech No Drill Easy Install Mud Flap. These are for the front and the rear. Part number is WT110065-120065. Here's what our mud flaps are going to look like installed in the truck. As you can see, these are going to give us great coverage. They extend well down below the bottom of the vehicle here. These provide an excellent solution for protecting the bottom side of the truck here. As this tire is rotating, it's going to be throwing up dust, rocks, debris, things like that. And while there is a small protective lip right here that comes factory, it leaves our running board completely exposed and also the rest of the bottom of the truck here. And over time when rocks come up, they'll create chips and things like that, it can lead to rusting. So just a really nice way to protect your investment and make sure you don't have that chipping, pitting, and things like that that occur. Now from the rear mud flap, it's gonna come all the way down and give us great protection. One, it's not gonna start pitting our exhaust and we won't have any rusting there. Also, it's gonna protect our rocker panel and our bumper from rocks and things like that coming up. But also, if you have a trailer, an enclosed trailer, a camper, maybe a car hauler, and you don't want the rocks to be thrown up and denting that, it's gonna be a great solution. This also helps to reduce our liability of potentially throwing a rock up to a vehicle traveling behind us. Now these are designed, as you can see right here on this back edge, to be an exact fit for the 17 F-250. Follows along with every contour all the way around and you get a really nice snug fit and a really good hold with them. Now they're gonna be very durable, not gonna to have to worry about rusting, corrosion and things like that because they're made of a thermoplastic resin. So they're gonna take all the abuse that our tires are gonna dish out to them and stay looking good for a very long time to come. Not gonna to have to worry about cracking, we're not gonna to have to worry about discoloration from UV rays or anything like that. Now the custom design of the mud flaps allow for a very easy and straightforward installation. These are digitally fit, so they're gonna fit exactly to the contours of the vehicle. You're gonna see the two holes that are drilled here. Those match up with the lower bolts. These require a 5.5 millimeter socket to remove. And on the top, once it's in position, you see this latch is gonna rotate over and it actually pinches the metal right up here. So that's going to go in between the fender well and the metal there and it's going to pinch it to give us a very good secure hold. Maybe even got some Loctite there so once it's installed we're not going to have to worry about them loosening up. So let's set the mud flap down for a second and we'll show you a quick and easy install process. I'm going to start by removing the two screws. We're going to be reusing those so be sure to hang on to them. And we'll place the mud flap on. You'll see this cut out here is designed to go right around that. Now it's easier to access this if you're doing the right side, having your wheel turned all the way to the right or the left side all the way to the left. But outside of that minor change, the installation process is going to be exactly the same. The locking tab here, we want that to be up and down when we initially put it in position here. So it's going to line up our two holes and we can start our screws back in. I'm going to snug both of those down for now. You want them snug enough to where our mud flap won't move around. And we're going to take the provided Allen key. And as we rotate this, you may have to help it from behind, but you want to be sure that, it, like we said, it goes in between the metal and the fender well. So you'll see a small gap that's created there. Then we just have to tighten down this screw. Make sure we've got these tightened all the way down. You see, that's all there is to it. We've got a nice secure fit. Follows exactly along with all the contours of the truck to give us a really nice secure hold. And we won't have to worry about them coming off or loosening up over time. Now for installation on the rear mud flap, we need to take out the two push fasteners. We've got one located here, one located here. A trim panel tool is usually the best bet, but a flat blade screwdriver will also work. You can see that when the top just came off of it. It's not a big deal. We're not going to be reusing them. So in that case, you'll just push it all the way through. We'll try our other one here. Yep, same outcome there. It's probably what's going to wind up happening with all of them. 
Now we're gonna use a little bit of rubbing alcohol to clean up the surfaces here. If you see any dirt or anything like that, you wanna get it off. Now the fasteners we're gonna replace it with are gonna be the provided Phillips screws. On the outside, we're gonna put the black flat washer. We'll start with just one of them, so we get our flap up in place. Screws through, line that up with the existing hole. Then on the back side, we're gonna put on one of the aluminum washers. Those are gonna be silver. Now once that's in place, we're gonna take one of our serrated lock nuts there, and we'll get it threaded on. That'll hold our flap in place. We'll do the same thing for other hole location. Now since those are serrated lock nuts, if you just kind of hold your finger on there, you probably shouldn't need a wrench. If you do need a wrench, if that nut continues to spin on you, you'll use a 7 16 All right, get both of those snug down. Just need to rotate our latch here. Now the bolt we have here with that catch that comes around the back, it's got blue Loctite on it, so it gives us a good secure hold. We're not gonna have to worry about that backing out over time. And the serrated lock nuts we have here should keep these nice and secure. That's gonna give us a great fit and excellent protection. Now with our mud flaps secure, that's gonna complete our installation of the WeatherTech no drill mud flaps for the front and rear. Part number WT110065-120065 on our 2017 Ford F2. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.